a world controlled by massive corporations, a steady aim and split-second decisions are needed for your Megacon to complete its goals. Begin your missions at the Mercs Hub on beastofwar.com. Venture into the dangerous dungeons of myth as a mighty hero and stand against the darkness. Visit the Myth Hub on beastofwar.com and begin your story. Hi guys and welcome to this rather unusual unboxing because I have invaded Roman's painting space uh, and we're going to be looking at this which is the Army Painter Wargamer's Complete Paint Set and we've been having a look at this and discussing it at length especially you will see some of that if any outtakes are put into the end of this video Oh yeah which there are about half an hour of which is awesome but this is what happens when we both get in the same room and we just talk for a while Now Yes Let's talk about what this set is. This is basically the entire Army Painter range of yes. potted paints. It so is huge. It is. So we have all the tones. 124 pots. Mm -hmm. We have the tones. We have the metallics. Uh, we have metallic stones. We have the uh, sort of the, the equivalent of the quick shades. What, yeah. are, what are these? Well, they're the tones. Oh, washes, actually. Washes, tones. Yes. Yeah, they call it tones. And we have all the basic colors as mm -hmm. well. Now, I like this set. And I'm just going to say it straight off that there's a lot of painters out there that we all know that are completionists and will have every range they yes. can get their hands on in its entirety. Absolutely. So this is the way to do it with the Army Painter set. Yep. If you can get your hands on one of these. Great value, actually. Definitely. Mm. Um, and if Let's you're also look looking to... That. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> if you're potentially looking that to... That is big. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Can I, can I continue? Please, it happens. Okay. So if... <laughs> If you're looking at maybe switching your main paint range from something else, say like I use a lot of Vallejo, you are a, quite a broad mix of paints. Yes, uh, at the moment mainly P3 scale 70, uh, scale 75 yeah. uh, Vallejo and a lot of Army Painter as well. Yeah. But if you're looking to switch to like a main range, this would be a good box to start yourself with and then you can yes. always use it more often than your others. I mean, a lot of painters have a main range of paint because mm. it, 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 uh, it allows, uh, it, it's coherent, mm -hmm. you know. And if you're painting within a certain genre as well, yep, absolutely. especially, particularly war gamers will stick to one or two ranges, mm -hmm. usually like P3, Games Workshop, this, anything like that. Yep. Um, you get the historical painters like myself usually stick to Vallejo and This is sort of ideal for fantasy and, uh, and sci-fi. Yep. You know, um, the the a lot of people like the model color range for the more uh, realistic tones and all yeah. that for um, well tanks. Really. Yeah. Hmm. Awesome. <coughs> right. We should probably open the box, shouldn't we? Yes. Let's. Yeah. Let's try and open the box. We don't need that. Right. So, <sighs> Fine. In the box, we get some brushes. I'll chuck those under the close camera yes, so we get absolutely. a little packet of brushes here. It says complete paint set on it, but it tells you on the box we have the vehicle terrain brushes. We have our detail brushes, and I think that's one of the dry brushes in there too. Yeah, that's a dry brush also. One of the small dry brushes? It looks like a filbert, but oh yes, it's a small dry brush. Yeah. Hmm. So, you get some brushes in there. No, Not bad, actually. No, not bad at mm. all. We have a colour chart, if you want to take that out, Romain. Yes, absolutely. Here it is. That's the colour chart you get. That's all of the tones. Mm -hmm. All of the new tones, old tones. Uh, you have all your metallics right here. Yep. Uh, they're all sorted. You have uh, here you have all the uh, uh, varnishes and uh, some mixing medium as well. Mixing medium is very interesting to have now too. Yep, I'm it's very interesting glad to that have. that's in there. I'm glad that it's in a, in the complete paint set. You used to have to buy it separately. Yeah. Um, so generally, we have everything laid out, and we know. Yes. All the scales are the there, scale, everything the sort names, of matches together. All, all the numbers. This will work well with um, your colour theory videos. Absolutely. If you have this to hand. Mm -hmm. uh, also, this works well because you have all the numbers and all the tones and all the proper names. Yep. Uh, it works with the... it has the same names as the spray cans from yeah. the Army Painter range. So it's direct uh, transposition, if you will. Yeah, so the, the main colours which come in the spray cans as well are a direct match to the pod. Exactly. Well. That's something that has saved me on a couple of times. Absolutely, so. yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> mm. Right, on to the in, so internal easy for box. armies, really. Mm -hmm. um, oh, we have uh, actually we have. These there's there's more paperwork. We'll that's talk about that later. Bits and bobs, yeah. Yes. So you have rows and rows of these 
little uh, plastic um, things. Yeah, I like these. I like these. As you were pointing out earlier, we actually have a little recess for a brush. That's true. And so you can use that as a palette. Yeah. Uh, all the other side, mm -hmm. if you want. So you have most of the paints come in the trays like this. So if mm -hmm. you want to lift out a couple more. Yeah, they are sorted. I believe they're sorted by tone as well. Which they is are nice. sorted by tone. So if you're looking for pinks, you can actually put these up as a, a rack on themselves, mm -hmm. which would be quite handy. Yeah. And not everyone has access to. Uh, to, I mean, sometimes the, the, the costs are a bit high uh, mm. to, to, to buy online, to buy racks of paints or uh, actual furniture to put your paint pots in. Yeah. And you have to make do with drawers and such. And this can be invaluable to sort your paint. So you don't have to do it every time. Mm -hmm. uh, I know it saves me a lot of time to, to have an actual rack. Exactly. And sometimes you just don't have the motivation to paint. No. <laughs> you know, because you have to sort it all out and mm -hmm. get it all out and, you know. You're putting so all that's interesting. So most of the paints, apart from the metallics, yeah, and the tones uh, are in, in the only ones that aren't in of, these trays. Yeah, yeah, these sort of trays. But all the main colors are in there, which is yeah. really good. Look at these toxic mist. That is that's that's the, an interesting. The naming tone. convention is so cool. Yeah, and that's true. <laughs> it really that's is really true. Yes, <laughs> void shield blue. Now I remember this. Was this the competition paint that we ran? Uh, I, think I think this so. was the paint that yes. the Abyss War community member got named. Yeah. So yeah, cool. It's in Void there. Shield. Void Shield. I like it. Very good. <laughs> uh, look at look at look at that that tone. Uh it's it's uh, wonderful. Is it green? Is it blue? Mm. Is it grey? It's uh, it's so broken. It's <laughs> it's such an interesting mix. Um I'm, 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 I like the, the complete paint set because of all the intermediary tones mm. that you wouldn't think of if you didn't have them on site. Yeah. So it makes your painting much more original, much more creative, yeah. I think. Sometimes you need just someone to come out with a paint set that has some of those more intermediary tones yep. and to go, look, you can try this. Yes, otherwise because you're only relying on your imagination, which is fine, but you're not always, you know, it's not always a good day. <laughs> Imagine the imagination needs inspiration. Absolutely. So you, you need something to look at and go, I want to do something like that. A and mind that does not flow uh, freely without fuel. Yeah. Greens, look at that. Look how many tanks I could paint with this. Look at all that color. <laughs> <laughs> the Venom Wyvern. That, my Venom. friends, if I put that under this camera, Ooh. that's nearly a perfect um, US Army olive drab. Just saying. That's almost perfect for US Army all the time. Oh, uh, I think... I'm going to open it and have a look at it. Yeah, that's close. Yeah. Health Green. That's like a Russian. Yeah. Actually, no, hang on. That's... Elf Green's more like a, an American drab, and that's probably more like a Russian one. I'm just pointing them out because I just like them. <laughs> I know. I have to just tell there you... There is an Army Green right here. Actually. Yeah, but, but it's, it's not... It's yeah. not quite... It's not specific. No, it's not specific. <laughs> Isn't that Luftwaffe? No, no, that's not. Um, this this unboxing has taken a, a bit of a turn now into us going, what colour would that be? Excuse me, I, I have to sort them, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does it, does this one go here? I think, it go, I think it does go there. No, it doesn't. It should go there. No, it goes there. No, because that one, let me see that one. That is Filthy Cape. It filthy, really genuinely is named, look, it's re genuinely named Filthy Cape. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. <laughs> it's very and it is gray. the color of a filthy cape. It's very gray. Yes. Yeah. It's filthy gray, I'm sorry. It's a filthy gray green, as a matter of fact. Yeah. That's interesting. That's interesting for highlights for your tanks. And there's me told. <laughs> well, if you were going to paint them in fantasy like fashion. Never mind. Yeah. So what what else can we really say about it? It's, it's a massive paint set. You're getting tons of stuff in there. Yeah, ooh. we we can only give you suggestions on what we like and but how we use it. Look at that! Look at the metals. That's brilliant. And ochre. Oh, you like ochre? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 look! That's it's like all those the bright uh, gold and bronze and all sorts of metals. Mm-hmm. Hang on. We'll, we'll, we'll He's look. Good. He has to. Yes, it I have. I have to. I have to. So, what are you looking for? 
Oh. Three coppers, aren't you? Yeah, yes. And there's like two golds, two coppers, uh, two irons and two silvers. Mm. And with your mixing medium, you yep. could change that up a bit too. Surely. Because you could add... Uh, could you add silvers to the golds to heighten it a bit, or...? Well, I do it all the time, so... Well, then, uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's me, I've yeah. been told. <laughs> I'm no, just no, trying no, to remember and you, stuff. And you, and you actually, you can mix in the silvers and, and coppers and, yep. and so on with other colours. Mm -hmm. And then you have different metallic tones, and that is nice. See, the, the opportunity you have with a, large, a mm -hmm. larger paint set is just going, will that work? And then you can just try it. Exactly. Oh, and so these are, are your washes, actually. Yep. All so the washes, reds. we have anti-shine in there. There should be a gloss varnish in They're there, all, too. They're all differentiated. The, the, the white caps are the regular paints yep. and the uh, varnishes and mediums. Mm. Uh, the red caps are the washes and the black caps are the metallics. Yeah. It's all color-coded for your convenience. Mm -hmm. Right, I think we've covered all the types in there. I think so. Um, do we have any final words? Yes, I mean, come on, look at that purple. It's called Crusted Sore. Look, <laughs> it's amazing. It's like almost a hull red. It is, yeah. Yeah. Very much. It's very close to a hull red. Slightly more red than I used to be. Slightly more pink in it, maybe, than... Yes, yeah. quite probably. Oh, that's Chaotic Red. That's that's our hull Chaotic Red's yes, hull red. Yes, yeah. Chaotic Red's hull red. That's a nice equivalent. I mm -hmm. use hull red all the time, so... Sweet. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I'm absolutely loving this. Are you? Yeah, I'm going to be tinkering around with this at some point once you've finished all your painting and clear off so I can put this into a little corner and write my name on it because, you know, nothing in this studio is owned by anyone except when you have your name on it. Yeah, that's true. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's fine, I stole one of your models for a reroll tutorial. Yes, you did, actually. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much for watching our little um, meander through this massive paint set. Um, put your comments down below, let us know what you think of it, and we'll see you again soon. Bye! Anime cyberpunk style meets skirmish combat in Infinity. Experience eight high-tech factions and fight to control the human sphere at the Infinity Hub on beastofwar.com. Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of War Hub. Take command of elves, dwarves and orcs in this game of masked fantasy combat on beastofwar.com.